Welcome back to Teach a Man and Fish channel. Today's video, we're going to be cleaning a squirrel. I got the request from one of you, my subscribers, what he should do with the squirrel when he and his son get one. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing to do is to give that squirrel a bit of a wash. That mats the hair down and you'll see when we get into the cleaning, it prevents the hair from being fluffy and getting all over the meat as you clean it. So there's a hundred ways to skin a cat and they're, every one of them has their own merits and their own beliefs, but this can be an easy, quick process. I don't like the whole cutting fancy cuts and cutting around the tail, cutting off the tail, standing on the head. I've even seen compressed air. I think this is the easiest way, the least hair, couple of sweeps and you're done. And then stick around for the recipe. We're gonna be doing buffalo squirrel wings in this video. Not only does the water wash away some of the muck and get the hair matted down, but it also loosens the muscles up. If it's been sitting for a bit, the muscles can get stiff and this is easier to do the more pliable the squirrel is. Quick tip, cut from inside the skin and you don't get the fur everywhere. And I've told you this method is fast and easy. Really, that's the only cut you make is an incision on the back and everything else is pretty much pulling until you get down to the legs where you're cutting those off in order to finish the clean. There you can see I'm cutting. There's a little strip of skin that sometimes gets stuck and you cut that as it's separating away. All of that skin degloves all the way down to the feet and legs, including the, the tail. It takes a little bit of hand strength, but just about everyone can manage to do this. When you get down to just the feet and legs and tail and head left, you're breaking the bones and cutting through them with the knife, and it just severs off clean. Be careful, this is an easy opportunity to cut yourself if your knife isn't sharp or you feel like you're applying too much uncontrolled force. So at this point, we've removed all four legs and the head with that knife breaking motion, and you open up the chest cavity, split the breastbone, reach in to remove the lungs, and then strip out the guts down to right where the pelvis is. You're gonna wanna split the pelvis with the knife facing out, that way you don't get into the guts. So there it is. The only thing left to do is to get the tail cut off. And I, this is a bit of a gruesome process. Some people can handle it. Some people can't. YouTube's probably going to demonetize this video. And if you feel like supporting the channel, please hit the thanks down below. And next, we're going to go ahead and break it down into its primal pieces where it's actually going to start to look like some squirrel wings to eat. This process for cleaning has been happening for thousands of years. There's nothing more natural than this. Do like to do a salt soak with this meat. So while we're making the sauce, we'll go ahead and soak this in salt water and I get it to about the taste of sea salt. As a matter of fact, we're using sea salt to make this. And ideally, you could age this for say four to eight days in your refrigerator, resting in that salt water but you don't have to. We're gonna go straight into cooking this for lunch. When you pick your sauce, we like to use Frank's Red Hot, but obviously you can use a Texas Pete sauce. Each one of those adds their own distinct flavors. We even ferment our own garden peppers, and this is a very unique flavor. They're the touch on the hot side. You better be able to handle it. Or even a homemade pickled sauce. It's all good. We also add in with the Franks and the butter. We have our own dried habaneros from the garden. We think that gives us the perfect heat and it is amazing flavor. You pick what you want. The sauce that we use in this is homemade. When you make this yourself, it's really only pick your favorite hot sauce, add butter into it in the right ratio, which is usually one third butter, two parts hot sauce. It's better than anything that you'd ever get from the store. It's fresher tasting. It does last a while in the fridge. It's worth having around. 
Here's a little tip for you. Make certain your hot sauce is not cold and coming out of the fridge. Heat it up in the microwave a little bit so that when you do pour the butter in, the butter does not congeal, and it gives you a chance to stir and emulsify it. Ideally, you would want this to rest, say, overnight or for a couple of hours. You don't have to do that, but because we're putting in dried peppers, we always keep some in the fridge, so we'll go ahead and reach over to the fridge here and grab some to use for this cook. Now we're going to grab that squirrel, and it's been soaking in that salt water for probably 20 or 30 minutes, and we're going to dry it off. For this part, you're going to want to use a pretty stout knife or a cleaver because you're going to be cutting straight through those bones, through the pelvis, through the backbone. Split the squirrel down the middle, cut the shoulders out on each side. We're going to slow it down for this part because this is the best cut on the squirrel. It contains both the back strap and then the inner loins that you're looking right there. So you're splitting that abdomen portion into two and that's the money meat right there. Some people throw away the shoulders and the ribs, but I still think there's great little crispy bits on the ribs, and the shoulders are completely edible if your shot didn't wreck them. So that's pretty much the entire squirrel, excluding the head and the tail and the hide. That's waste not want not. Crank that fryer up to around 375. Once that fryer is warmed up, Spread them around the tray so they're not touching each other, and then sink them into the hot oil. I want to show you guys this fryer. So pretty much this is just your regular fryer, except it's got a tank down at the bottom that you can drain all the oil through a strainer into that tank. You're either cleaning it or you can throw it away at that point. And as you know, changing the oil out on a fryer is no fun business. Now we're about five minutes into the fry and we want to pull them out and take a look. The Moisture should be slowing down that's coming out, and they should be a golden color. I think we can get a little bit more out of this, plus generally seven minutes plus minus is the right time to leave them in. This one squirrel, when cleaned and used as the entire squirrel, makes enough for the main entree for one person for an entire meal. Just think of a, a afternoon of being out squirrel hunting, and you can reasonably expect to get three to six squirrels while you're out there, maybe a couple of you hunting, you can feed a crowd with this. Imagine Super Bowl Sunday, buffalo squirrel wings on the menu. So if you like any of the tools or equipment that we use in this video, feel free to look down below in the description and there will be links down there to get it. And even a link to these awesome cutting boards. These are custom cutting boards done by a buddy of mine and he can even, upside down it might be a little better. He can even do the laser etching. If you send her the right image, he can put that directly on the cutting board of your choice. So all of those are in the link down below. go and this is even a front shoulder mm. squirrel buffalo wings so YouTube says that this video is perfect for your viewing habits this is my latest upload and over here is a playlist you might just enjoy I hope you liked it if you did please click like subscribe share and come on back for more